Good afternoon and welcome to the channel. It is hot here at the Jersey Shore, but today my brother and I are gonna be paint correcting the Duramax. My brother's driving us over to Walmart so I can get what I need to fix the Dirty Max. So yeah, you can see how big the Dirty Max is compared to my mom's Explorer. Look at it, it's a beast. Beast mode right there. Would you pull the hell out? God. Oh, yeah, I'm trying not to, yeah, pull out. Yeah, and get fucking smashed. Shut up. You really seriously need to shut up over there. So we are definitely headed to Walmart. At least we think we're heading to Walmart. I'm trying to capture some footage. Why do you wave to them? I have no idea. <laughs> I just wanted to. Do it. Well, I don't know. <laughs> what the heck? You wave to the people who didn't even know. You got to. You got to be friendly. There's nothing friendly about you. Okay, everybody comment below. Is my brother friendly or stupid? No, oh. I the friendly neighborhood stupid idiot. That's, that's right. So we're here at Walmart parking lot. And you can see there is a 2500 uh, Ram uh, Cummings. A really nice truck, it's a power wagon. Uh, but I just don't like it as much as the Dirty Max. I just don't. I am definitely more of a GM guy uh, when it comes to trucks, but I'm a car guy and a lot of people don't understand that. I had some comments in my video yesterday that I posted of the new vehicle, uh, but yesterday's video that I posted of picking up the truck, there's some people that are saying, oh, I thought it was gonna be a Ram and they unsubscribed. This is a car channel and I want you guys to understand that I'm not brand loyal. I'm not gonna have five Dodges in the garage and nothing else. Like I can't do that because I have a love for cars and trucks and I love all different kinds of cars and boys. trucks. Yeah, I'm not a fanboy of just one car. I just love cars. I'm a fan of cars. So um, I love everything automotive. I've got a Honda a GM we and a Dodge. A good, we appreciate a good body regardless of make. Yeah, exactly. So um, I'm pretty much, I have three cars and one brand of each. I've also had a BMW, I had a Ford Mustang. I just absolutely love vehicles, right? Absolutely. Yeah. So it has to be uh, a little bit of a mix. You can't have the same thing all the time. My dream garage has like eight different brands in it, probably more than that. And then put a Korean stereo in the American muscle truck. Are you babbling over there? Yes. What are you babbling about? We're gonna buy a Korean stereo and put it in your truck. Well, I'm taking the uh, American Touch Panasonic, putting it in the GMC, and taking the Japanese stereo and putting it back in the Type R. Makes sense, it okay. really does. We're going to check out the hose. The garden hose, that is. Get your mind out of the gutter, guys. Yeah, I know, right? Man. It's a car channel. Yeah, I know. Oh, vehicle channel. Well, yeah, it's a vehicle channel. Yeah, you, you yeah, can't say car that. It, it's, it's about trucks, too. It's a car channel? No, it's a vehicle channel. Definitely wouldn't paddle your ass. Holy shit, look. You could definitely cook on that. Oh, grill, yeah. Shut up. Or this one. 49. No, it's got to be bigger than that. So is your mom. So if you look real closely, you can see all the swirls in the paint. I'm going to go ahead and be buffing that out right now. going to be paint correcting the entire truck. So here we are in day number two. We finished polishing the truck as you can see last night. Everything looks absolutely fantastic. So we're off to pick up the Hellcat finally two days later and stop by Roadrunner's Performance and see what I need to do to fix the front end and possibly lift the truck even more. So let's get going, right bro? Woo!
we stopped by the GM dealership as I had to check out price on a few parts for the Duramax. And me and my brother saw these Sierra 1500s, the new 18s. They look really nice. This Sierra right here has the nicest blue ever. Uh, and I love the front end. I, I just love this truck. I don't like it as much as the 2012, do you? I don't know. It's hard to say. I like both, honestly. But uh, It's got to be yeah. GMC for a truck, though. Yeah. Has to be. I mean, the Chevrolets are nice. The Silverado, but I'm more of a Sierra guy. Hence the reason why I got the Sierra 2500. So right here is a Denali Sierra. Love the big chrome grills on the GMCs. Absolutely love them. A little bit more of a square shape than mine. Mine's a little bit more rounded. This is a more boxy look, but I do love it. They did a great job on the new Sierras. There's a Canyon over there. There's another Sierra. I like that red down there. That red is really nice. Like that's a really nice red. What do you think? Absolutely, I love the red. This one's nice too. Oh, the so, red Denali right here. Oh yeah, there is. They're right beside each other. There's another one over there. Yep. Really nice. Gonna have to do a review on these trucks. Gonna have to review mine as well. They got a bunch of Denalis. As you can see, they come with those taillights or these. The Denali gets different taillights and I absolutely love them. But we gotta get going. We're headed over to Roadrunner's Performance. Gotta check on some things and how I can fix the lift on the truck, maybe go higher, but definitely gotta fix the axles and drop the differential. Damn, that was loud. Beast mode right there. Look how big it is compared to everything else. So we're here at Roadrunner's Performance. We're gonna talk to the owner and see what we can do with the Duramax. Uh, got some big plans with fixing the front end, maybe even going higher. We're gonna find out exactly which lift I have on the Duramax. We're gonna find out when I talk to him and he comes out and takes a look at the truck. What do you think, Cody? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely what? I don't know, I'm just saying that. That's the owner's Jeep. Got some nice wheels here. I'm here at Roadrunner's Performance. Uh, you guys gotta check them out, definitely check them out. In an Island, Woodbridge area, right on St. George's. I always come here and talk to Rob, he's the best. This is what we're doing. You guys should be very excited to see this because I found out the lift on my truck is really only three and a half inches, roughly. Maybe three. It, it, it might be three, it might be three and a half. So we're gonna go with a six and a half, which is gonna put the truck at least a three inch gain on what I got now. And we're gonna do it right. New splash guard, uh, new everything, new hubs. Uh, new shocks, everything's going on. So we're gonna get this done, probably gonna be a week or two minimum, but I'll let you guys know, we'll update you. BDS, of course, I cannot wait. It's gonna be awesome, right, bro? We're here at Roadrunner's Performance. Six and a half inch lift is going on soon. I'm gonna talk to Rob and finish up here. We're gonna do the six and a half inch lift, uh, BDS six and a half inch lift. Gonna drop the differential, it's got a new splash guard. It has everything included. Right now, the truck actually only has a three inch lift. So if you look at it now, it's a three inch lift, but when I get this done, uh, it's going to have a six and a half inch lift. So that puts the hood about right here. So it's gonna be a lot bigger uh, than it is right now. Cause like I said, right now it's barely a three inch lift is what he's saying, maybe three and a half in the front, but uh, it's basically a leveling kit. So it's nice and big, but it's going to be a beast once he puts the six and a half inch lift kit. So we're gonna get ready to head over to the dealership uh, to see if they can replace these tires that are worn out and the axles that are blown. We're gonna get started on the things I need to do for the Duramax. So uh, we arrived here at Bridgewater Kia. We got a few things we gotta discuss on the Dirty Max and there's things bothering me with the truck uh, that I have to rectify with the dealership. Uh, they didn't tell me that it was a leveling kit and not a lift kit, not a big deal, I guess, if you look at it like that. However, the axles are blown, the tie rods are blown, and the tires are chopped and destroyed, so they're gonna have to cover all that so I can work on the lift in a couple of weeks. Now, I gotta go in there and talk to them. However, I can talk with Rao, one of my subscribers. Okay. So there's no more Infinity. It was the decision that had to be made because it was either get a used Hellcat, keep my Infinity, or trade in my Infinity, get a brand new one, this brand spanking new. Nice. Got it with 28 miles on it. Now I just broke it in with 500. Nice. Launch control now works, but I haven't used it yet. Well, launch control is not going to be of very much use with those tires. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah not only are they the 275s, but the, the all-season 275s. Oh, yeah, yeah. The same ones I got on the front. So I got to invest in like 315s. Do you think 315s will fit on these stock rims, or do I have to go 305? Um, are th I wonder, though. Are these 20 by... Is, are they 20 by 10? 20, 20 by nine and a half. 20 by nine and a half. So those are the stock wheels, 20 by nine and a half. Mine are 20 by 10 and a half. 
Oh. And I got three 15s. Okay. We're going to detail the Hellcat because the Dirty Max is spotless and the Hellcat is not. Now, it's funny, when you when you DM me, I was just about to wash my car, so my car is dirty considering. Yeah, we got Destroyer Gray Hellcat right here. It's a 2018? 2018. 2018. What made you jump now instead of waiting for the 19 with the upgraded grill and stuff? Okay, so I didn't know much about the 2019 other than the fact that it was going to have the updated grill had no idea that they were going to bump up the horsepower that still hasn't been disclosed yet they're still saying fca is still saying it's going to be seven forbes seven. leaked it already i said forbes. to everybody forbes already leaked that information right, so 717, 717 but all right so 717 okay i couldn't wait until november december to get this car i wanted this car for the summer i wanted to enjoy it for the summer that was the goal so i got it now the only thing i would be disappointed is if they came out with a wide body uh, Hellcat uh, Red Eye in the Charger. Josh over at HHP told me numerous times that he think my Hellcat may have been lowered. I said, no, I don't think it's been lowered. However, when you look at Raul's Hellcat and you look at mine, my fender gap's about an inch less than his. And I never lowered my Hellcat, but the guy before me may have lowered it because I bought it used, but it was only used for like two months. So he could have lowered it. See, there's a two finger gap on my fender. I know that's not how you want to measure, but on Ral's Hellcat, there's about two and a half. So my car does sit about a half an inch lower. Now, I don't know why. It doesn't make a lot of sense, but if you look right there at the fender and you look at Ral's, there's more of a gap. So I don't think mine's been lower, but if you look at the bumper and you look at them side by side, take in mind, we're not talking about the splitter. We're just talking about the bumper. My car does sit lower. Now we're not gonna measure to the lip, obviously. We're gonna measure right to the bottom, right here. Okay, you can see it comes to right about here on the bottom, okay? Right there. And look at that. So the difference is from here to here. So we're looking at about that much difference. So yes, indeed, my Hellcat actually is an inch lower. So whoever owned this car before me lowered it. Plus Josh at HHP thinks it's lowered. Not by much. So who knows what the guy before me put on it, uh, but it has been lowered. Somehow along the line, it's sitting lower either way. It's about right there on the bottom. So that's what we're looking at, the ridge on the skirt. Down there. So that's an, almost an inch. It's about three quarters of an inch. Six and a half inch lift and right now I've only got three. So you see how big three is, you can only imagine what six and a half is gonna look oh, like. Oh yeah, really little. These are 33 inch tires. So I'm gonna be rocking 33s until I get the 37s in the fall or maybe sooner. Can't wait, see you then. Oh yeah, gonna be getting some 37s uh, in the fall. For right now, I'm gonna have to rock the 33s, even with the lift, the six and a half inch lift I'm getting. So we'll see. Share this channel with everyone. Definitely gotta get more subscribers. Share this channel with everybody. The more subscribers I have, the more stuff we're gonna be doing, lots of content. Got the Hellcat here. Gonna be doing two cold starts. Absolutely love the sound of diesel, and I also love these taillights, they are just so badass. So my brother and I just finished having Panera Bread and it was fantastic. We told a bunch of people about the channel. We had a blast, but that is gonna do it for today's video or the last two days. It's a double day vlog, basically. Hopefully you guys had some fun with the Dirty Max content. We're getting a six and a half inch lift put on it and I got some more surprises to come. There's a lot of stuff coming for the Dirty Max. I love this truck. It is so awesome. What do you think? It's pretty oh, it is awesome. Sweet 
Just a ride in a suite to drive in a suite in a suite. <laughs> and I'm letting my brother drive my 1,000 horsepower Hellcat. So hopefully you guys had fun in this vlog over the last two days. Don't forget to support the channel, drivewaydemons.com. Get your t-shirts there and brand new key tags are gonna be available this week. So go ahead and order them there now. Mopar, no car for the key tags. I have a bunch of other ones coming. We're gonna see how they do. T-shirts and key tags in the store right now. Support the channel, drivewaydemons.com. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, like this video, comment below. Thank you so much to all my returning subscribers. We're about to hit 16,000. And you can see I got the Dirty Max right behind me. My brother's here. More videos of us to come, right? Yep, look at that. Oh yeah, this is the new driveway demons guys. Hopefully you're enjoying it. We're gonna see you on the next video. Take care, have a great night.